One of my most interesting flights late last year was a test of the Embraer Legacy 450's steep approach capability. I traveled to Embraer's factory and met with the flight test team at the company's San Jose dos Campos headquarters. This would be my third flight in the fly-by-wire Legacy. I had already flown the Legacy 500 twice, including a flight the night before to try out the jet's new Rockwell Collins compact head-up display and EVS-3000 enhanced vision system. Both airplanes share the same type rating and fly exactly the same, so by this time I was quite comfortable in the 450's cockpit. The cockpit is so well laid out and systems and controls so logically placed that I don't think it will take pilots long to learn to fly the new legacies. The fly-by-wire flight controls are operated by a side stick for each pilot, which operate individually, while rudder pedals are mechanically connected between the pilot and co-pilot side. Elimination of the bulky yoke is a big benefit of fly-by-wire and the cockpit takes full advantage of all the extra space. I flew left seat alongside Chief Test Pilot Eduardo Camillier for the flight from San Jose dos Campos Airport. As I did with Camillier during my first Legacy 500 flight, we pushed the 450's fly-by-wire flight controls to the limits of the flight protection envelope. After descending to 15,000 feet, slowing down with full flaps and landing gear down, to the minimum possible flying speed at 1.04 VSO or landing configuration stall speed. In steep approach mode, the flaps and gear must be fully deployed. The fly-by-wire system automatically modulates the wing spoilers to maintain the selected glide slope, and this is one of the many benefits of fly-by-wire. Spoilers can be modulated throughout their full range instead of just open or closed. When Camellier changed the glide slope to 7.5 degrees and I pitched the nose down, the spoilers opened further to allow the 450 to maintain the descent angle without increasing airspeed. I flew two touch and goes at San Jose dos Campos before setting up for the steep approach. I set the auto brake control to medium, which would help us get stopped if we used more runway after the steep approach. Camillier assured me that a normal touchdown is possible after the steep approach, and this turned out to be the case. I set the Legacy 450 up at about 1,500 feet AGL, close to the runway this time, and Camellier switched on the steep approach mode. The auto throttles and spoilers helped manage the descent, and I used the fly-by-wire's TCS trim button on the stick, which works in landing configuration, to set airspeed right at VREF. Staying on the 5.5 degree glide path was just a matter of a few tiny moves of the stick, but the fly-by-wire system maintains the selected flight path, so a lot of stick movement is unnecessary. I was getting better at avoiding too much flare before the touchdown in the Legacies, and passing through 50 feet, the auto throttles retarded, I pulled the nose gently to the horizon and the Legacy 450 touched down on the mains, then automatically lowered the nose and put on the brakes to slow us down with plenty of runway remaining.